This is the Zima Q Pro. And honestly, this is my favorite piece of tech for all of 2024. I absolutely love this thing. However, I'm actually not totally convinced that you should buy it, at least not just yet. So let me explain. For a bit of context, if you're not familiar with what a NAS is, a NAS just stands for Network Attached Storage. And it's basically a computer that you can run 24 seven with heaps of expandable storage. So this particular NAS, you can store up to 160 terabytes of expandable storage, which is pretty crazy and you just install extra hard drives into these hard drive bays. So you can put up to six SATA drives into the front or in this seventh bay, you can install up to four NVMe drives, which is pretty cool. And this is my first ever NAS. And honestly, my entire workflow has completely changed since setting up a NAS on my home network, especially for someone like me, who's a content creator, I deal with heaps and heaps of big video files. And so moving all of my data into this one centralized location has been absolutely incredible. And not only is it handy because it's all centralized now, but it's great because I can access it from basically anywhere. And I am absolutely loving it. I cannot tell you how amazing it's been. Now this Zima Cube in particular, like I mentioned, it's got those seven drive bays, plus it's got USB ports. It's got Thunderbolt connectivity, which is pretty amazing. Thunderbolt four. It's got HDMI out, 3.5 millimeter audio connection. It's got 10 GBE ethernet, which is really fast as well as two 2.5 GBE ethernet ports. And it's even got extra expansion slots on the motherboard in case you want to install your own graphics cards or other devices to expand the capability of this particular NAS and customize it to suit your needs. So as far as my research goes for a consumer NAS, this one is actually pretty specced out, especially with standard 10 GBE ethernet and Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. So I do really think it's quite impressive in that regard. Now for me personally, I installed three 12 terabyte Ironwolf Pro drives. And I actually found out later that apparently Ironwolf Pro drives have a lot of compatibility issues with the Zimi Cube, but I'll talk a bit more about that later. I think the other big thing that I'm really loving about having a NAS is the home automation. So I'm running a whole bunch of home automation apps on this device, including HomeBridge and Home Assistant that let me control all of my smart devices around the house. Got it all linked to my stream deck. That's been really incredible. Plus I'm able to automatically back up all of my phone's photos and videos, which is really nice knowing that it's all just automatically backed up into local storage. So if anything ever happens to my phone, then I've still got all of those images and videos. Plus I've been using it as a home entertainment hub. So I've been running Plex and you can use that to stream your personal local library of videos, films, TV shows, whatever you've got to all of your other devices throughout your home. So that's been incredible. And there's heaps more you can do with NASs. There's literally hundreds of apps that you can install onto a NAS that do a whole range of different things. And I've really only scratched the surface, but it's definitely worth exploring. But that brings me to the Zimi Cube specifically. So the Zimi Cube runs its own operating system that IceWells developed. It's called Zima OS. And when I first got sent the Zimi Cube, I actually had already done some research and a lot of people recommended uninstalling Zima OS and installing something like Unraid or TrueNAS, basically because a lot of people were saying that Zima OS was way too limited. And so that's what I did. I uninstalled Zima OS and installed Unraid. And I used Unraid for about a month on the Zima Cube. And I've got a lot of thoughts on Unraid versus Zima OS. First of all, I found using Unraid incredibly complex. I spent literally hours upon hours trying to figure out how to use different things, how to set things up, a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT and Google, trying to understand, trying to learn how to use a NAS at all. And so I think if you're not particularly tech savvy, especially when it comes to networking like myself, then I'm not sure Unraid is the best choice or even TrueNAS. I haven't tried TrueNAS, but if it's anything like Unraid, it does get pretty complex pretty quickly. I can see why a lot of people love Unraid because it is very customizable. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. It gives you a lot of information. And for people who are more network and tech savvy, I'm sure it's great. But I think for someone like me who just wants basically plug and play a device like this, that doesn't want to get too in the weeds when it comes to networking and the technical side, I personally found it a bit overwhelming. And so when I received the second Zima Cube unit, a bit more on that later, I actually just went back to the standard Zima OS. And honestly, I've been loving it. I actually much prefer it over Unraid. It's just heaps more user-friendly. It's very much more straightforward. I can really see, I think, what IceWell is trying to do. They're trying to make a device that's a lot more consumer-friendly than trying to build your own NAS, which I know a lot of people do. Zima OS can also utilize Thunderbolt 4, which I really wanted. You can't actually utilize the Thunderbolt 4 on Unraid 
online raid, at least not easily. And so that was another reason why I was keen to switch back to Zima OS. Plus then you can utilize the Zima client, which is basically an app you can install on your Mac or PC, which lets you connect easily to the Zima cube, especially remotely. So anytime I'm out, I can just open up the Zima client and I can connect to the NAS over the internet as if I was just sitting at home on my local network, which has been incredible. Now I have ran into some bugs with the Zima OS and it's still very much in development from what I can tell. There's a lot of features that are still coming, but in some ways I kind of see that as a good thing. They've got a quite clear roadmap of new features they're gonna add into the future, which I'm really excited for personally. I think it's got a lot of really exciting potential of where they're gonna take the Zima OS. And from what I can tell, it's already improved a lot over the past year. However, having said all that, and despite the fact that I really love Zima OS, I really love the Zima Cube Pro, I really love having a NAS, it's just been amazing. I have had some issues which I really wanna talk about. So let's get into that. So this is actually my first review unit and I've got my second review unit currently plugged in and working just over here, just behind my Mac. And the reason I was actually sent a second review unit by Icewale is because I was having issues with this one. Now, I never really got to the bottom of what the issues were, but basically what was happening was the hard drives that I installed, those three Ironwolf Pro, were failing. Specifically, the parity drive kept failing. I don't know why. When I was trying to figure out what was going on, I also noticed that the fans weren't booting sometimes. The LEDs were glitching at one point. I thought it was a power issue that maybe I wasn't getting enough power because I had it plugged into a power outlet with other devices, but I'm actually not convinced that that's what it was. When I emailed ZimaCube, they were really helpful, but they didn't really seem to know exactly what it was either. And that's when they told me that the Ironwolf Pros aren't compatible with the ZimaCube. So I almost went out and bought a whole bunch of new hard drives, but they are quite expensive. So I held off until I got the new Zima Cube unit and I've tested them in them and I've actually had zero problems, especially running Zima OS. This unit has been absolutely fine. I've had no issues whatsoever. So I'm not sure if it was just a dud issue, if it's a bigger issue with Ironwolf drives. Honestly, it makes me a little bit nervous about having all of my data on three Ironwolf Pro drives. So maybe I will switch to a different brand of hard disk. And like I said, I haven't had any issues with those same drives in the new unit. So maybe I just did get a dud unit, I'm not sure. But I think while these issues are still being ironed out by Icewale, then maybe it's worth holding off just till they get solved. The only issues that I've had with the new unit have been some UI glitches, particularly when I've linked my Google Drive account to the NAS. Anytime I try to transfer more than five gigabytes of data pretty much to that connection, it will just crash my browser. And I actually really want this feature to work because I want to be able to easily upload a lot of footage to my Google Drive. So hopefully that gets resolved. All right, so just a quick update in reference to that specific issue. I got in contact with Icewale on the forums and they've been incredibly helpful, really responsive and trying to figure out what the issue is. And that kind of leads me to a broader conclusion, which is that overall, my impression of Icewale is that they're actually really trying hard to create something cool. And for me personally, I kind of like being an early adopter of products like this that are still kind of in development. And so I think if you're someone who also enjoys being an early adopter of products, then I actually probably do recommend picking up if you think that the Zima Cube is something that will suit what you're looking for. I think if you're not an early adopter and you just want something that will work rock solid out of the box, then sure, go for a more established brand because maybe the Zima Cube isn't for you just yet. But honestly, overall, my impression with Icewale as a company has been really positive, both with their email support directly and with the online forums. For example, just the other day, they released a Zima OS update and it caused some issues with my NAS in terms of fan speeds. But I raised this on the forums with maybe two or three other people. And within 48 hours, they had an update that was released that corrected the issue. So to me, they seem to really take customer feedback super seriously, which to me inspires a lot of confidence in the company as a whole. But overall, basically my final thoughts are, this is honestly an amazing piece of technology. I absolutely love it. I really love Zima OS. I prefer it over Unraid. I think for the average person who wants a NAS, but doesn't want to have to get too involved with the technical side, I think it's a really good choice. It's absolutely permanently changed my entire workflow when it comes to data management, specifically with my content creation. But it does kind of seem like there's some kinks that Icewell does need to iron out, especially because if you're putting all of your data onto one of these devices, you definitely don't want any risk of the hard drive drives being fried by the actual device. I actually really, really want to recommend these. Like I said, it's my favorite piece of tech for all of last year. But I think if you're thinking about buying one, maybe just hold off until those issues have actually been resolved. Now, if you want to hear a bit more about how I used to organize all my data, which might be a better option for you if you're just getting started as a content creator, then make sure you check out this video here where I talk about NVMe drives, which are probably the best way to edit your footage externally if you don't have a NAS.